Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install PHP on Windows 11. PHP installation on Windows 11 is very easy task. Let's do it. We are going to follow the step one. We need to download the PHP setup. And guys, this is the link for the download. The same link given in the description of this tutorial. Please copy the link, paste in the address bar, press enter. Then you will see this kind of official download page of the PHP. This version is 8.3. When you see this section, you have two kind of downloads. First one is non-thread safe and the second one is thread safe. We are going to download this thread safe version. Size is 30.35 MB. Click on this link and you will see the downloading is in progress. And the net speed is quite awesome that's why I downloaded quickly I have pasted that zip file here and I'm going to extract this file do the right click choose winzip winrar 7zip whatever you have on your system do the right click and extract and you will see this kind of folder when you go inside the folder you can check you have all the files in place like php.exe, phpcj.exe and other. Now we are at the step 2. We need to set up the environment variable. And we need to set the php.exe path in the environment variable. Go to the search, type environment and you will get this option. Click on it and then you will get this system properties window. Click on this button and you will get this window under the system variables look for the path when you get it select click on the edit button and here we have to enter one entry click on the new button and here we have to give the path of the php.exe so you have seen we have just extracted the folder so go inside the folder copy the path like this okay and come back here in this uh, environment variable window Paste it here and click OK to save. So guys, we have successfully added the php.exe path in the environment variable. Now we will verify our installation. To do that, you have to open the command prompt. And here we have to type simple command php space hyphen hyphen version press enter. And you will see this kind of message. PHP 8.2.10 build version and copyright like this. If you get this thing, that means your PHP installation is successful. Now in the step four, I will create a simple PHP program. So we will run that PHP uh, simple code from the command prompt. To do that, I will create a notepad file and I will write some code on that and I will save that file with .php extension. So you can see I have already created one file. Let me open this file and I will show you what is inside this file. So this is the notepad. I'm going to open here in the new tab. So this is our php.php file which I have, I have created to execute. So basically we have some syntax. PHP syntax is there in this file. Also we have some HTML uh, thing but HTML will not be processed because we are simply going to evaluate the PHP expressions only so on the console when we run this dot PHP file we will get the result like this sum of two number okay great now at the same location I will type CMD and my command prompt will appear what you can see here we have the path so right now we are inside this folder where we have this .php file. So simple, we need to type the command php space file name .php. Press enter and you will see the result. We are getting the HTML text because this is not processed and returned as it is. But in the PHP script, we were trying to add two numbers and this is done successfully. See this sum of x and y which is 
5555. Two variables added and the result printed perfectly. So we have seen the PHP installation and the creation of PHP program. Also we have seen how to run .php file from the command prompt. If you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button to appreciate and you can subscribe our channel to support. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.